Welcome to part two of making our gingerbread peeps. Now, uh, the one thing I didn't mention last time, having now reviewed the video, I cut out the part where I initially said to you about working on media. Uh, if if you follow my uh, mouse now, I'm coming down here on a very bottom line, and fabric type is set at wool. Wool is the Americanism for felt. OK, so whether you're American or English, uh, I'm using felt, but if you're American, you call it wool. So uh, rather than it be pure cotton, wool will uh, change the way that uh, the stitches are laid down and the uh, capacity of stitches as we're doing it. Now, to change that, you need to go to design settings and auto fabric, bring up uh, this box and drop down and go from as it is uh, like the, the normal setting which is cotton I do you beg your pardon some oik decided to <laughs> ring my phone when I was in the middle of recording this so I was saying so from the normal setting poly cotton you need to come down and pick up the last one which is wool okay it says topping back back in tear away well yes we are going to well we're going to use cut away but um yes that that and then apply auto fabric okay which will then change this down here in the, the very bottom from uh cotton to wool now that is quite important so our next uh item that we want to uh, affiliate on this um Girl is her uh, fur trim. Now we're going to just start off with ordinary digitize, digitize a closed shape, and we're going to pick up white, okay, and we're going to leave it in tatami, and then we're going to make her nice and big so that we can see her very nicely, and slightly uh, overlapping, slightly overlapping her stitching around the top and I'm going to stop there and uh, well I can curve it down I don't want this part of it to be too fat because you will see in a moment what is oh made a mistake there I should have used a straight right hand click I don't want this part to be too fat I can as you know we can always uh, nope backing it up because I want it to curve around the little ear bobs I want it to come down and bring it in slimmer at this point and give it a curve in the middle and a and then follow around the outline back up to our start point okay so can you see I've done a tatami stitch this part which is the actual bubble on the bottom of the hat this part is going to overlap this anyway so I'm quite satisfied now that I've got these stitches down uh, I think they're wide enough the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to pick it up. It's in white, so it's hard to see over here. But I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to get to reshape. I don't think I want to reshape it yet, but what I certainly want to do is change the stitch angle. I don't want yet. Yeah, no, no, no. I, yes, that's what I wanted to give uh, an almost, you know, it, a uniform uh, angle to it. So that helped me. So having drawn my uh, tatomi and angled it the way I want it to look at it, we are then going to duplicate that and we're going to say it to be an outline and naturally it puts it as a single stitch line but we're going to ask it to be satin, okay? And I'm going to leave it in its normal setting which I'm working in inches at the moment so it's 0.118 of an inch and I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to come down to feather edge both sides. Ooh, wow, look at that. That's quite nice. But uh, I am also going to adjust that from 
0.8 down to 0.98 that's better for me but if you notice now the whole thing is a little bit too large so uh, using uh, my shift key and holding down uh, my um, reshape key I am just yay bringing it I'm have to move it a couple of clicks to the right with my keyboard and let's see how that looks yay and I am just keeping that you can see the tatami stitch underneath just about and I'm keeping that it within my outside line so now we're happy with this the next thing that we want to do is to do uh, you know her little uh, bauble at the end so in exactly the same way well we could pick up a circle oval and but I don't want to I'm going to do it as a closed shape so uh, digitize a closed shape uh, as a fill as the tami in white still we're still working in white and I will start at the top keeping well more than a few millimeters in because now we know how sick the expanding line is going to be we will come in a bit quieter than that but we want it to be a ball and yes it is going to enter it is going to overlap the fringe of the hat that's not a problem so then we pick that up and we will then duplicate that and this time we'll tell it it's an outline and we'll tell it that it's satin and there we are back to where we were. Okay, that looks nice, nice bits of time we're going on. Don't mind the angle of that at all, that's fine. And we'll go to effects and pick up that both sides feather edge effect like that. Now now we've got this as a separate individual piece you can see it's slightly going over my lovely outside line so uh, just picking up the satin stitch uh, one i am just going to reduce that by holding down shift and moving the lug yeah oh yeah that yeah that's enough isn't it so now you can see and you might want to change the inside of that snowball angle of the tatami underneath but I think that's good enough so now we've made our little girl's uh, bubble, uh, bubble at the end of her hat okay all right I've just introduced into the program here a graphic um, line yeah to help you uh, as you can see, I've already done it once and moved it out of the way so that you can come back to this graphic and work on it for yourself. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, this is new using another uh, digitize tool, which is digitize blocks, okay, which allows you uh, the uh, ability to turn the stitches as you go to give you this snake effect okay rather than it all be going in the same direction depending on how you use this block tool will depend will uh de more define the way that the satin stitch actually uh turns as you want it to i think we used uh this uh this size blocks in white i think we used this um in uh, satin if you don't mind as a fill uh, i think we use this on the top of the bird house on one of sunbonnet sues to get that i think that's the last time we used it so it's not absolutely new if we've been following along with my uh, elementary tutorials but now we're going to use it here to reinforce the idea okay so now with a block you have to do left and right uh stitching so we're going to start at a point go a left click because we're still outlining but then can you see you have to do the corresponding left click on the other side now can you see there is i got a v here yeah so depending where i put my next um curve gives you the angle of dangle so if i was to put it up here 
you know, it gives you the angle of dangle of how the stitch is going to go. Yeah, well, to start off with, we're not that bothered about how the stitch goes. But then when we come to the other side, we do want it a little bit more pronounced. So tight on a curve, large on the outside. Tight on a curve, large on the outside. Now, large because the inside curve is the tight one. Yeah? Small on the round one, tight on the little one. Oh, now we're moving in another direction. So this is the larger curve. And ending, I hope. Yeah, I'm going to do a double point there and hit enter. Yeah. So can you see from what I've just done? I've done it a little fatter than the one I originally done. But can you see from what I've just done? Uh, I have done... Uh, the curves are moving to the way I placed the uh, outline box stitches, the dist block stitches, okay. So I can, if you like, uh, I'm going to select that now I've just done and go to reshape. Now, oh, that looks bloody complicated, doesn't it? So I'm going to bring it up bigger. Um, on that reshape, uh, you can see that if, if you didn't get it right in the first instance, these are all stitch angles. All these square ones are stitch angles. So if you did something you didn't like, I quite like mine, but if you did do something that you didn't like, uh, I say, well, I might not like that so much. I could just take that angle and slightly move it. I could take that angle and slightly move it. So when you're doing blocks, I could actually take that angle and say, hmm, could have been a bit better there. Yeah? And then come back to select and then look at it as a whole. Yeah? That's how we use uh, digitised blocks. Okay. I did do a preparatory one, which, but actually, I quite like this one. This one's a bit smoother, isn't it? I quite like that one. And of course, you do have the opportunity to resize, yeah, which we will do in a moment. But however, what I want to do now is duplicate that. And as we've done before, now we know we've got another one down here. As we've done before, it's mirror it from left to right. Up here, mirror X. Yeah? So now it's facing the other way that we can just go, ooh, there you are. It's supposed to sit right under her armpit and there it is okay uh, and also then we can duplicate that again bring it down to her leg which I want to go at an angle this way uh, first of all I'm going to double click it so I get the turning uh, white squares up so I can slightly angle it the way I want it to be then I can I can click it again to get the black handles up and it in shift I can make it proportionately bigger and using my keys move it up and now perhaps make it a little smaller but you can just angle it around so that your top and your bottom stitches make this really big. I want it slightly bigger and then just whip it up away from my outside stitches. Yeah, I'm happy with that now. Yep. Yeah. So now I can pick that one up and I can say duplicate and mirror x yeah so i got exactly the same thing to fit in exactly the same place from that corner inside my stitches more or less like that so that one now i will delete which is just my bit bob i did okay if you're not happy with them of course you can play around move the angle from here to there to whatever you like and make it your own I'm just amending this as I go because I'm not happy about that angle so I am just going to twist that a little more 
then go to it it and bring it a little bit bigger so it fits in and I am gonna oh, come back to black handles and black handles you know my black handles and I am gonna I am gonna put that at the bottom of the foot and hold in shift I like the angle I am just gonna make that touch a bit bigger and a touch a bit smaller so I want to stay within my thingy bobs and then whack it up a little bit make it a bit more of an angle on a foot as if it's her shoes so I'm going to delete that one I'm not happy with it happy with this one now so duplicate that one and then it mirror X so it's going the other way pick it up and put it in rough roughly the same spot yeah I'm happier with that I I'd rather that be more of like the start of a shoe as this is as I think a bit start of a glove okay so yeah I'm happy with that so now I'm gonna hit save so that's how we do that uh, I that extra graphic I will stick in so that you've got some point to start with to be able to use your digitized blocks and the turning tool okay the last thing we need to do obviously is the face but i am still not very happy with her hat so i am picking up the outline i hope it's the outline of her hat and i am going to go select well i'm on select reshape that one because i do i've got so many which i might have to get rid of a few yeah, I'll take that one and delete it. Don't want that one. Move that one back up because I don't want it to be too fat. Move. I'm going to delete that one so it comes around. Because, uh, yeah, if I delete a few nodules, click on it and then delete in new shape uh, and then move into visuals. I want it to be, yeah, it's getting better now. I'm going to delete that one. It's got a blip in it. So let's just delete that. But I'm going to shift that one along and a little up. Yeah, now you see how her head, oh, I'm just going to slightly move that one. Yeah, yeah, because I want this band to be a little bit more encompassing. Uh, I'm just trying to slim that down a bit. Now we're going to undo and undo that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit better. Hang on. If I go back to select so we can see it. Mm. Now I need to pick up the one above it, which is the uh, shape. And reshape that. Mm. Have I got the right one? Let me see. I want the satomi. Yeah. I want the satomi. And then I want to go to reshape. Because I need to bring, oh, let's get rid of a few. Do you know what? I'm going to click on that and delete it. Click on that and delete it. Click on that and delete it, right? Because, uh, there, that's better. You know, for the, the smoothest line is the one with at least nodules. So I am just bringing those back in, yeah? I'm going to hit select and have a look at it. Yeah, so now my little girl's covered by that. At the end of the day, you can play with this to your heart's content until you've got it entirely right. That one, I'm going to change the colour of that and say I want it gold. I'm not necessarily uh, yellow, but I might want to do that, actually, as uh, metallic gold. Uh, mm hmm it's like everything. I am a bit of a, a perfectionist. Well, not a perfectionist, but I do like things to be right. So I'm still not happy with her at. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go reshape on her at. Yeah, never mind about this curvature, which I like. I am just going to fractionally move the outside lines of her hat shape. 
then I'm going to pick up the drop down bauble and say reshape that I just want to minimize that gap I don't know what I got there what I got there I just want to slightly minimize that gap from the stitching yeah not changing anything else I just want to do it and I also while I'm thinking about it now I bought these things back you can stop and start there I don't care what you do and I could change in some ways I could change the order of this so that 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 part came down over the top of this part but then I'd have to do no because then I'd, too many color changes so no I'm not going to do it I'm not going to do it but I could I think I did in the other one I think I could bring that down but then it'd be too many color changes anyway I'm happy with that so save that again very happy with that oh uh, we run out of time again but uh you know it's one of these things this is a an intermediate cl class uh, so, you know, if you want to go back to the basics, go back and look where we started on my page with Sunbonnet Sue. This teaches you one thing, one thing after another. Now, in this one, this is, as I say, an intermediate class. So, uh, I expect you to have already taken on board and know certain things that we're using. So, anyway, let's look forward to part three. <laughs>